All right, it's finally time. It's here. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hello, YouTube. Hello, world. I'm pretty excited for this one. Sorry, you're going to see me adjust my mic here. First game, the developers were gracious enough to give me a key. And I've been super excited to play this. I played the technical demo. I really enjoyed playing. Um, I'm really bad with the names right now. The guy that can hear and Leatherface, the trapper dude. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we didn't have add-ons. We didn't have builds. We didn't have talents. We didn't have uh, any customization to any of the characters, really. So this is going to be like first match, the real game. We'll see how it is. Um, but yeah, kind of excited. Looks like I got the one guy I said I didn't want. <laughs> how can I? Can I change? I want to be sissy. There we go. I want to try sissy out. Okay, so skill tree locked, loadouts locked. You know what? Let's play Leatherface. I love. Oh man, I'm gonna have to use Leatherface ten times. Use the free skins. Games don't do this anymore. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, either way, we need one more killer, guys. Let's do this. Oh no, I don't have voice chat in the game. Damn it. So it does look like cross cross play is enabled. Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox. Oh, I need the radio. I'm the baddie. I'm gonna have to fix the way the audio works because that's not gonna be very fun. So next time we'll we'll make sure we can talk to him. Uh, it looks like we're playing on the gas station at night. Um, so new map for me. The only two that I've played on previously are going to be the original house and um, the slaughter house, something like that. It was like a little farm thing. Oh, let's see if we can get this person already out. Come on, Alyssa. Come on, Alyssa. Come on, Alyssa. You can do it, Alyssa. Click the button. Alyssa ready a dog? All right, well, for the record, they got to change that. Criticism number one, guys. Next match. That's if if like four out of no maybe a bit more than four if like most of let's say this amount of people's ready let's let's dock it down to thirty second minute two minutes is pretty long. Oh, she readied up in the last five seconds. I, unless it was an auto ready up, I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, I'm excited. You're getting the full un. Oh man, that loaded fast. Dead by daylight. Looking at you. Rumpel. Yes. I, I was hoping they, they had updated that animation just a little bit because it looks a little strange. I, I don't remember how to play, so we're gonna we're going in dry. <laughs> All right, where are they at? Uh, right click is for chainsaw. What's this? Okay, well we're stuck in here. I forgot I needed to start my chainsaw. Oh, 
Yes. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, she was AFK. Well, we're gonna take advantage of this. <laughs> Grandpa. Well, she was AFK. I feel bad, but. You know, I don't think I miss Grandpa's yelling. Grandpa's yelling was weird. Oh, there's a guy over here. We gotta get him. You think you're safe? You think you're safe? Oh, I have to press a button. <laughs> the uh, subtitles for Leatherface are pretty good. Concerned noises. Wait, I get to see people through walls as Leatherface? Hey, baby! It's me! Oh, I have to wait for her to do that? That sucks. I do remember that being a problem in the test thing. Uh, for next game, I'll have to move my, my camera over, too, because the... Uh, it's not really doing anything, but there's like two icons right here. Wow. That's really strong. What? What? Okay, I had to stop and start the recording there for a sec because for whatever reason OBS just started crapping out on me. More than likely the survivors have definitely gotten upstairs now, so. I'm a little confusing. The layout of this. I got so used to the one map that I played over and over that this is... Can I still lock this door? Get your head Come on now. Let me in! <laughs> How does Leatherface leave basement? Oh my gosh, there's so many, like, cutoffs down here for me. This... Oh wait, that's a person. Yes! Two dead men! What you listening for, pal? I want to feed dad. Where's grandpa? Oh my god, I can't see anything. I might have to actually... I don't like turning up the brightness in games like this, but I might... I might have to, because I can't see dick. Grandpa, I bring food. The sounds of affection. There he is.
How do we get there? Alright, we're gonna go down. Grandpa's hungry again. I just fed you like a whole person. Oh, sounds like somebody's getting murdered. Bring me Tony. Well, I guess we can collect blood here. So this game, probably like Dead by Daylight, is going to more than likely feel like ridiculously overpowered as killer at the start because survivors don't know what they're doing. And then the second they start knowing what they're doing, it's going to be so much harder. Grandpa, I need you to yell or something. Show me where their bones are. There. Yes. No, I'm so stupid. I'm going to find you. He looks injured, though. So normally I could turn on voice chat and I could tell them that, yeah, I found him. He's down here, but no. Okay. We definitely went the wrong way. We juke this. Are you hiding, boy? Cool face, once yours. So what I can do is leather faces. I can destroy, like, the tunnels that he might try to crawl through. Come on. Give me a yell. Oh, I saw him moving there at the last second. No! No! <laughs> Leatherface can't climb ladders as far as I'm aware. The other killers themselves, they have more of a... Uh, Tactical gameplay, Leatherface is just sort of like roid mode, go. Is there a ramp here? Yes. interact with grandpa the sounds of affection my favorite movie starring leatherface that's actually a really cool name for leatherface movie now this game super duper easy is like killer right like just from a from a starting standpoint I, i'm not saying this is going to be easy for killer forever but at the start of this where people don't know where they're going oh man we're the ones with all the power as soon as they know the quick exits like on the uh the the play test if you beelined it you could escape in two not even two minutes Grandpa, where is he? Grandpa. Are 
Are you in here? No. Hmm. So when Grandpa yells, at least in the first few stages, he'll only detect them if they're moving. There's a well down there. There he is. Hey, friend! <laughs> Yeah! Stolen! Ah. <laughs> Killer game one, Lewis is the best. And then we get the ballad of the Leatherface. What a beautiful soul. <laughs> Alright, so what does the end screen look like now? Looks like we leveled up three times. Pack and oh, so I guess you level up certain things at different rates. New unlockable, 20 SP skill points, I assume. That killed three of them is right. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit quit. So this is all new now. So progression. Leatherface. Doesn't appear to have anything. Oh, we got some behind the scenes stuff. Okay, that's confusing. Customization. Leatherface. Loadouts. Okay, so we have 20 points that we can spend here. Okay, got it. So, endurance, uh, after being hit by sneak attack, you can lower that timer. Or no, you don't lower the timer, but we can hot see them. That's kind of cool. Endurance, uh, recover from s being stunned. And then stamina consumption. Grandpa ability slot. Okay, well, we can't really look at them, but... Uh, we can go through those at a different time. What's this? So chainsaw modify. Here we go. Reduce chainsaw overheat stalling resistance. Reduces the overheat cooldown. Okay. Neat. Uh. Oh no! There's more than one execution. <laughs> Can we preview it? Won't be left much for a mask. Oh, that's sad. So I can't do anything there. Oh, there's a bunch. Okay. All right. Here we go. So where do I, how do I use the points though? So you get five loadouts, skill tree. Oh, here we go. There we go. This is where we're at. All right. So can you... Okay, well, I bought a skill. Uh, if Grandpa is incapacitated, your damage dealt to victims is increased by 15% until he recovers. Award an extra attribute slot point to add into your character's loadout. Oh. Okay. So... Can I... Can I really not zoom out? Oh, there we go. That's a really weird way of switching areas. So you can only, it's probably for console reasons. The camera only moves based on where I'm clicked in on the map. Okay. Reduces stamina consumption on melee. Awards a random perk. Okay, okay. Savagery. Act damage increase with him, stamina uh, makes it more costly. Something about chickens. Increased chicken detection radius. Okay. Um, so there is build planning in this game. That's actually going to be pretty cool. Uh, some blood storage. Pretty safe. 
Hitting a victim with a chainsaw causes one HP of extra damage per three per second for three seconds. Okay. And then dots. So this is like chainsaw mini path, I guess. And what's this? Grandpa incapacitated. Is this grandpa's path? The mini game for locked doors is 40% more difficult for all victims. That's probably going to be really good at the start of the game, and then later on everyone's going to get good. When active, the family focus ability duration is increased and the cooldown is reduced. Man, there's there's so much crap. <laughs> Tell you what, though. I like the idea of the dot. So let's go for that. Bading. Extra attributes. Attribute. Let's go for this random perk. What do, what do we get here? Walking through Sissy's Poison Clouds boosts your stamina regen. That's pretty cool. Alright, we got the dot. We got that. Something happen if we get this one? Adds an extra attribute? Oh, that sucks. That was a waste of point. So going this way blocked off the other ones. Okay, so... You know what? Let's not overcomplicate this right now. Well, well, well. So then we get a new branching path where we can get victims take 50% more damage when jumping out of windows. Victims who climb down wells will be highlighted. That. I want that. No, not enough points. All right. I'm going to try to see if this re first recording worked out well. Um, I'm going to post this up pretty quick if the, uh, the match worked. And uh, yeah, we're going to see you in the next one. We're going to be playing a bunch of these. I'm probably going to go live here at some point too. But again, thank you for the developers for giving me a copy of this. It is on Game Pass. It's on Steam. Make sure to grab it. It's pretty fun. Uh, from the tech demo, it was really fun. But now we have all this extra stuff. I'm, I'm really excited to see where it goes. Um, and don't worry. We'll still be doing other stuff. But Texas Chainsaw is out. And it is fun.